So should we do the globe? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do the globe. So, the celestial globe. Now this is a very interesting one. I should give you a bit of history for this because it's quite, quite amazing. Everyone always thinks of the Mongols, if they think of them at all, as destroyers, as people who just wrecked the Middle East and most of the known world. What's forgotten about them is that in the midst of all their pillaging and destruction, they saved people who had something to offer to them. And among those people were astronomers and astrologers and scientists. When they destroyed the assassin's castle in Alamut in Iran, they saved the noted polymath Nasruddin Tusi, who was an expert on um, all kinds of things, including astronomy, um, well, mathematics, logic, various things. And they had him set up an observatory in northwest Iran, somewhere near um, Tabriz now. In this observatory, they gathered together some of the greatest minds and makers of tools of their time, including the man who made this. His name is Mohammed bin Halal al Manajim al Mausili, so the astrologer from Mosul. So he must have been a very, very, very highly trained individual. This is his signature. And this is the earliest of the celestial globes which were made for the Mongol observatory in Moraga. This one is dated 1275 to 76. Um, so this is a really important thing for the history of um, astronomy and astrology in the Middle East. On its body, you can see the constellations and you can see about a thousand stars, maybe slightly over. And the stars are picked out in silver and the constellations are kind of engraved over the top. This represents them mapped onto the skies, but in a very particular way. Because the skies were imagined as a, a globe surrounding us, um, but because we can't see from the inside out. This shows us from the outside in. So this is actually the reverse of how we would see them from where we are standing at the moment, if we could see them. Because it's based on Abdurrahman Sufi's um, The Book of Fixed Stars, it combines kind of ancient Arabic names for constellations, it combines Greek ones, it combines kind of modern understandings of them. So it's a very interesting thing and it relates to um, various texts uh, of this manuscript, which are preserved in museums and libraries around the world. Um, and it's also a very beautiful example of the astronomer's art. Um, it's lovely, it's inlaid, it's technically very uh, precise object. Um, and it has this wonderful signature, it's dated, so it tells us a lot about how the world was understood and how the skies were understood at this very time.